Good day students. Welcome to Cambridge Primary Maths Workbook 4. We are going to start chapter 11, Fraction and Percentages. Let's start. Exercise 11.1, .1, question 1. Here you can see a multiplication grid in which multiples of 1 and 5 are colored. This question is about the understanding of equivalent fractions. Under the grid you can see some fractions 1 upon 5 when multiplied by 2 times. 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 5 is 10. Similarly, when multiplied by 3 times, 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 5 is 15. When we multiply a fraction with the same number, the result is always equal to the previous fraction. Let's move to our actual question. Here you need to make some equivalent fractions for which you have to multiply the nominator and denominator with the same numbers. If 1 is multiplied by 3 times, then 2 is also multiplied by 3 times. If 1 is multiplied by 5 times, 2 is also multiplied by 5 times. You have given one number and one blank box and you have to fill those boxes. In part B and C, again you have to make some equivalent fractions which I have made for you and you can check your result. In this question, we have a fraction wall. The whole wall is divided into parts. One is first is the whole part, second is divided into two parts, third is divided into three parts, and so on. Now we have to write the fractions in A and B in order from the smallest. Let's start with A. It said in part one, it says two thirds. So I collect two one thirds. Then it says three fourths. So I collect three one fourths. Then it says one third again. So I collect one third only. And then it says five eighths. So I collected five parts out of eight parts you can easily arrange from the smallest one third is looking smallest after that it looks five eight is bigger than one third then it says two third then three fourth is the biggest one now again i distributed my wall according to the given fractions in part b here is the arrangement of these fractions Part 3a first we need to make the denominators equal to know which fraction is bigger so we will multiply 1 upon 2 by 4 so because we know that 2 times 4 is 8. After multiplying we came to know that 4 times 8 is smaller than 5 upon 8 so we will put lesser than sign in between 1 upon 2 and 5 upon 8. And next question in order to make the denominator same I will multiply my first fraction with 2 times. Here I got my answer as 4 upon 6. Again, I know that 4 upon 6 is less than 5 upon 6, so I'll put less than sign. This is our next question. And here is the solution for it. Here you have given three different fractions and one number line. On the number line, only one fraction is given, which is half. Now you have to consider the given fractions, that the given fraction is more than half or less than half. Let's consider 2 over 5 first. 2 upon 5 is less than half, but only a little bit less than half. So I wrote it in the nearest box left to half. Now let's consider 2 third. It says 2 parts from 3 parts, which is obviously more than half. So I will write in the first right box nearest to half. Now I have one box and one fraction, so I'll write it here. Question 6 is similar to our previous question about ordering fractions. Whenever you have to order a fraction, you will make the denominator same. For making denominator same, I will multiply by second fraction with 2 to make it same with the first denominator. When 3 times 2 is 6 and 4 times 2 is 8. 6 upon 8 is greater than 5 upon 8 and it is representing 3 upon 4. So I will write 3 upon 4 in my box. Solution for question 9 is here. In question 10, I multiplied the 2 upon 3 by 10. So I get 20, which is the multiple of 5. And then I get 30, which is the multiple of 6. In question number 11, again, you have to change the denominators to get the idea which one is bigger, which one is smaller. I have three denominators with number 8. So I'll change my rest of the 2 in 8 2 by multiplying by number 2. 5 upon 8 is the correct option on to 11.2 so if you have a 100 grid box you just need to count the numbers to write the percentage and here is the solution of our circles these few are simple questions so i'm just writing the answers 
In this question, we have a 40 grid box and here we need to color 25% of it. 25% means 1 fourth. So we have, will write 1 fourth of 40 and then we'll simplify it. So we need to color 10 boxes, just 10 boxes. Uh, try to remember these percentages with their fractions. 25% means 1 fourth, 50% means half and 75% means 3 fourth. In this way, you will be able to do this easily. Thank you for watching.